Merriam-Webster's dictionary defines fragrance as a sweet or delicate odor, kind of like the smell of fresh flowers or pine trees or perfume. Sweet is definitely the way I would describe the smell of my house the first time my husband and I came to see it. As the agent walked us through the house, I noticed that all the windows were open and the smell was coming in on the breeze from outside. I mustered up the courage to ask the agent if he knew where the smell was coming from. And he looked at me a bit strangely and he said, um, no. About a week later, my husband and I were doing a final walkthrough with the home's actual owner. And I asked her again, where is that smell coming from? She took me to the front yard and she showed me this big tree. And she said that she had been in Hawaii on a trip and she smelled that fragrance and she found the tree that it came from. And she thought to herself, I need to go back to California and find that tree so I can plant it at my own home, which she ended up doing. And now I get to stand there in the front of my house and just smile knowing I have a permanent house perfume. It's now been months since we moved into our new house. And although I leave the windows open, I can no longer smell the fragrance of the tree in the house. It's like my brain and my nose have conspired against me. They decided they're bored with the smell and they've shut it out, no longer acknowledging it. I close my eyes and I think, no, don't be bored with it. Don't tune it out. Keep smelling. But it doesn't matter. My brain's decided that there's probably other more important things to think about, to focus on, than keeping track of something that's always there. So I decided I'm going to go and stand out underneath the tree. That's where I can still smell it. I break off a little piece of the branch and leaf and I bring it inside with me so that I can keep it close to me throughout the day and I can continue to smell it. Now I know that this is what I do with Christ. I work in ministry. I have a husband who is a Christian. I have family, friends who are Christians. I hear people talk about the Lord, sing about the Lord, teach about Him. He is blowing through every window of my spiritual house. Yet sometimes I stop and realize I don't smell Him anymore. I need to remind myself to go back to Him, stand near Him, to tilt my head back and breathe Him in and find myself clutching the things that he's revealing to me about himself, keeping them near me so that I can constantly be smiling at the fragrance of him that is all around me.